All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about my OTFs and autos for everyday carry. Now, admittedly, I don't always carry autos or don't carry them too frequently just because, uh, you know, I kind of have to be in the mood to carry them. But, uh, the, you know, the cool thing about Alaska is, as I've said in many videos past, you know, it is a state that is pretty free on knife laws so it is cool to have autos or to be able to carry them legally so i do have a few in the collection and we'll probably add a few more in the future so starting off this is the first one and is technically the kind of like auto for the collection and that is a benchmade 2750 uh auto adamas now of course this is the generation two with the cpm crew wear blade and so it has that gray cerakote with the tan handle and this one's actually one of my more favorited knives for outdoor use and i like to carry it outdoors because it has a very large very generous handle that's easy to grab with gloves even insulated uh, gloves and mittens work well and of course that hard firing blade is really reassuring when you just want to pull it out you know cut something open you can just fire that blade out you know it's out you don't have to you know you know uh, you don't have to you don't have to use any you know like uh, thumb studs or opening holes the blade just fires right out and that's one of the more convenient things about automatic knives as scary as they may look you know it's just a really convenient thing when you're using things like gloves or mittens you know you just grab that auto and you can just pull it out uh, or just pull it back and the blade will fire so really convenient that you don't have to fuss around with anything or try to flick the blade out or something like that this blade just comes right out and uh, actually with a lot of authority in fact, this is one of the few blades that I don't really hand to friends because it kicks so hard that if you aren't anticipating the kick, I've had this thing fall out of several people's hands when I handed it to them, even after warning them, uh, you know, this blade, uh, it hits pretty hard. So, you know, you, you want to make sure you have a good, good grip on the handle before firing it. So, you know, if you know what to expect, it doesn't necessarily fly out of your hands, but it can get out of hand if you're not careful. So that is the first auto up on the list. The next ones are all going to be Microtech Ultratechs. So the first one for me is the fully, ser or not fully serrated, but double edged, so fully serrated top blade and straight or plain uh, main blade. And this is in the tri-grip pattern for the handle. And like I said, this is just a double-edged Microtech Ultratech, nice and hard firing. Even though this one's a little bit old, it's from 2015, but uh, this one has seen a ton of use and a bit of abuse and probably not quite as a defensive blade, but that is primarily where I push this blade is if I need a defensive knife, this is my go-to because it has that very wicked top fully serrated edge. And so that guy will absolutely tear stuff up and definitely don't want to mess with this knife. So this is probably one of my more favorite kind of self-defense or defensive blades because it is so easy to throw in a pocket, throw, you know, in a, uh, throw in a pouch or a pocket or something like that and have that um, really mean, really wicked edge. So next one up on the list and my go-to, or at least used to be go-to um, OTF is just a Plain Jane Microtech Ultratech. Now this one has a you know straight or single edge. And of course it is a plain edge with no serrations. And the only thing I have done with this blade is I did actually take back that bevel a little bit. So I not only made it a less abrupt angle but I also made it a little bit longer so it's a I think this one's about a 17 degree per side angle and it is definitely more slicey so this one is also an L max just like the other ultra tech but this guy is just a single edge plain edge uh, micro tech ultra tech so this one is a really good candidate for a really just good all-around true utility OTF so that is my kind of uh, my previous go-to and still kind of is my go-to. In addition, I really do like this blade. Um, this is one that I have used in outdoor applications. I've actually done an OTF video kind of uh, talking about, you know, hard use, batonium, uh, and just how sturdy these OTFs, these quality OTFs really are. So you can really abuse the heck out of them and they'll keep on going. So now my kind of new OTF and, um, new EDC OTF is actually this Microtech Ultratech Double Edge. This is, of course, a signature line, and uh, this is a limited edition USN gathering um, OTF. So it has this OD Green G10 show side on it, and of course, the black kind of more standard uh, aluminum 
non-show side on it. So this one is, I think there was a run of 100. This one is serial number 86. If you guys can see, I think it's 86. Yeah, 86. So really cool and just a really, really clean, really crispy uh, double edge on this guy. And this one is actually in Bowler M390. So this guy is really cool. Once again, I think this one is a pretty good mix of defensive and utility. A lot of people automatically write daggers off because they see it and they're like, oh, there's a double edge to it. So it's nothing, it's good for nothing else than self-defense. But actually, you know, you can open a good amount of packages and boxes. And even back in the day, as I don't uh, carry this guy too much for EDC, uh, but these guys are actually good at opening boxes boxes, packages, you just have to be a little bit more mindful and understand that you do have that sharpened upper edge. So, you know, you don't want to uh, tear into a package with it because it can cut things that you're not anticipating. But for doing a lot of just general purpose tasks, they're really not that much different than a single edge or, you know, plain edged um, knife as a whole. So anyways, those are my OTFs slash automatics. Primarily for the most part, my automatics are OTFs because I prefer OTFs as opposed to full-blown autos because when it comes down to an auto, for me, in my opinion, something like, you know, this guy here, pretty similar to a lot of folding knives. And in my opinion, outside of it just being easier to, you know, open as far as, you know, just being able to press a button and it fire open, you know, it's not really any faster. And even to an extent, the ease of access isn't that much worse in just a standard folding knife. So that's why I don't tend to have a whole lot of, you know, either button or access automatic knives is because when it comes down to it, you know, if you're skilled and you're good with one of these guys, it's really not that much slower. And even going over to other styles of folders, you know, something like this flipper is pretty darn similar. You know, if I had gloved hands on or even a mitten, so long as, you know, my uh, gloves weren't like over or putting, you know, friction on the blade, you know, pressing down that flipper is going to launch the blade out in the same exact manner that, you know, holding back that axis is going to launch this blade out or, you know, pressing a button on a button lock um, automatic will. So I like uh, OTFs because they are truly unique. This is something that, you know, a folding knife cannot do because this does not fold and this mechanism is actually very sturdy. So especially when talking about, um, you know, my single edge Microtech Ultratech, you know, this is something that you can baton on and really actually hit pretty hard because of how the carriage system and linkage works. This thing can take a lot more abuse than something like a folding knife because there is no folding or pivot mechanism in an OTF. So that is something that, you know, there are unique advantages to OTFs. And so that's why most of my autos are OTFs themselves. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless. And I'm